Hello everyone, it's Shipwreck Samantha here, and welcome back to my series on how to use Procreate. Today we are on episode 6 on how to use editing, or how to edit layers. There's a lot of different things you can do with editing layers, and right here I have some scribbles I've used in previous episodes to use as an example. So the way to edit layers is I'm going to be on this layer right here. I'm selected on this very specific layer. I'm going to select it. Actually, I don't even have to select it. I, it's selected here. So I'm just going to click this little magic wand looking thing between the wrench and the S symbol. And it's going to take me to all of these options. So I'm going to kind of work through a few of these. The first one is the layer opacity. So you can change the opacity of the layer. You can see the percentage up here. And if you drag across the screen, the screen it changes the opacity for you. The next thing you can do is a blur. And this is just a general all around blur. This is great for creating backgrounds. Um, I like to use it for shading. I'll do a solid scribble of shading and then blur it out to how much I want. But if you wanted to create like a blur, like a photo focus where the background is blurry, you can draw the background and then blur it, which is a great benefit. There's also a motion blur, which is looks like something is in motion, which is pretty neat. And that can come in handy as well, and you can kind of change the direction the blur is going in. The next one is perspective blur, so you can pick the direction the blur is going in, and then blur it. So you can see this area isn't as blurry as the others, so this is the least blurry area and it becomes more blurry. So you can change the direction the blur is going and where it is that way. And I'm going to revert this back. The next option is to sharpen. You can sharpen your image more by clicking and dragging. And the next on the list is noise. So you can create texture without having to overlay with a brush. You can just create noise and texture with this brush right here. And it's the same with all of these. Just drag across the screen and it changes. The next is the hue, saturation, the brightness. I use this a lot when I've changed my mind and decide I don't like the color of something. Instead of over drawing over it all over again, I just take this tool and I change it. So this is to change the hue. You can just drag to a different color you want. So why don't we go to this orange? You can change the saturation here. So I'm gonna make more saturated. And this is where you can change the value, make it darker or lighter. And then these are very similar. This is the color balance, so you can say I want it to be more of a blue hue, less of a green hue, and then more of a yellow hue. And you can see how that affects it. And you can go to these different areas. So this is for the highlights only. So you can see how it's changing the lighter colors. This is for adding the mid-tones. So you can see here is where it's being affected, and then adding the shadows. So the darker colors will be affected by that one. So you can change specific aspects of a layer using the color balance tool instead of doing overall with the hue, saturation, and brightness one. There's also the curves. If you're familiar with using this, I'm not as familiar with using this, but you can change the color by using this curve method, um, and you can change it to R, G, B, or Y. Um, that's a cool feature. And then one of the last things is to recolor something and you can adjust it by picking an area to recolor with the color picker. And you say I want to recolor this area or this area with the color that's selected here. And so that is how to edit a layer.